Hi, guys. Happy primary day. Yeah, this is the race that is going to be all about tonight. This is the one to watch, the U.S. Senate race here in the Republican primary. We're here at the Daniels Farm uh, School in Trumbull. Uh, candidate Themis Claritus has been crisscrossing Connecticut today, going to different polling places, trying to drum up that all-important last-minute voter support. Uh, if you see, she's got one of her campaign signs here right behind us. Uh, that nice young lady there in the, the chair has been handing out some of her uh, her cards that are being given to voters as they enter the polling place here, uh, saying what she stands for on them, lower taxes, stronger borders, and law enforcement. Enforcement. And joining me now live is the candidate herself, uh, Themis Claritus, Republican Senate candidate. Thank you for uh, joining us. So what's the feeling on the ground, Themis? You've been to a lot of different polls today. Do you think the momentum is swinging in your favor? Well, I've also been through a lot of elections, so I know you, you ha you're excited, you're frustrated, you're nervous. I mean, it's, it's, they're natural human uh, reactions, but I feel very positive about the results um, of what we put, the work we've put in in the past six months, crisscrossing the state, as you mentioned, uh, for the past year almost. Um, including last year, and talking to people and listening to what things they have concerns about. And there's a pretty common understanding that Dick Blumenthal does not represent Connecticut. He represents Joe Biden and Washington, and we need to be con bring control and our government back to Connecticut. So I've been really um, heartwarmed over the, over the support I've gotten. You know, you, you've been the front runner. You did get the party endorsement early on, but Leora Levy, one of your opponents, did get President Trump's endorsement recently. Uh, do you think that hurts you? What kind of, you know, play does that get here? in Connecticut. Well, it wasn't really much of a surprise. She had been the Trump candidate all along. She'd been um, talking about how she was the Trump candidate. And, and certainly some people will pay attention to that. But the reality is this. This is the Connecticut race. I have been honored to have hundreds of endorsements of mayors, first selectmen, Republican town committee chairs, state central committee chairs, majority of a lot of those, almost all the state reps and state senators, former chairmen, all sorts of people all over Connecticut who know what Connecticut needs, who knows the work I've put in, the work um, as 11 terms as a legislator in the last six years as the House Republican leader crisscrossing the state and the municipal and state level to help get Republicans elected and fight for Republican common sense principles. And lastly, you've kind of uh, dubbed yourself as the most electable Republican candidate, saying that you're the most likely to beat Richard Blumenthal in November. You do get a lot of the unenrolled independent support, but those voters don't vote in a Republican primary. The Republicans do. So the question for voters and for you right now is, are you Republican enough? Are you conservative enough to win Republicans? Well, I will say this. As somebody who has been a state representative for the past 22 years, I won 11 elections as a Republican state representative. I was honored to be elected the Republican House leader uh, in the entire state of Connecticut, and I was vice chair of the state party. I have fought for Republican principles for over two decades. I am proud of supporting lower taxes, less regulation, um, you know, securing our borders, supporting our law enforcement. I've been honored to be endorsed by the Connecticut State Police Union and the Fraternal Order of Police because I believe in keeping Connecticut safe. If those aren't great Republican principles, I don't know what are. All right, well, thanks for joining us, and good luck to you tonight. Uh, and from here, Themis is going to be heading to uh, Meriden, where she is planning a watch party at her campaign headquarters. The campaign tells me that they do have a victory spe a speech planned, so we'll have to see how that turns out. If you're sitting at home, you have until 8 o'clock to get to the polls. For now, we're live here in Trumbull. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.